Okay, well, thanks for that race from... Uh, I'm not sure where you were. Where were you, Martin? Over at Fontwell or somewhere. Anyway, I'm, I'm here at Ludlow for a couple of races now, and I'm going to start with a three-mile handicap of a 0 120. Number one is Black Absolute. Two is Napoleon Grey. Three, Gabri. Four, Black Autumn. Five, The Aristocrat. Six, Olga Barisova. Seven, She's the One. Eight, Cry Right. Nine, Jamming Jimmy's Joint. Ten, Sister Winning. Eleven, Silver King. Ch Twelve, Chief Orlando. Thirteen, Hawthorne. Fourteen, James Grey. Fifteen, Quack. Sixteen, Uncle Bunch. Seventeen, Prince Achiever. 18 usually small, 19 streets of war and 20s brace for impact and the start has got them away here at Ludlow which is in Shropshire a little bit left of Birmingham if you look on the map and they get to the first and everybody gets over it we're going to be led by Uncle Bunge for Obi-Wan into the second he gets over that as well and the Ludlow course doesn't take any casualties in the first two so Uncle Bunch is going to lead them straight into the third. The ditch, he's over it. Oh, we lost one there. Cry right's gone. David Robertson's not going to get a double in this race. Bad luck into the fourth. The fence is coming thick and fast here at Ludlow. I don't think there's any particularly fun facts, but anyway. So it's Uncle Bunch that's going to lead them into the fifth. The water. And the winning post is straight after it. And he's being left by the rest of the pack, which are all pretty tightly together. The one that's got a little bit uh, detached is Olga Barisova. Maybe uh, poisoned by a bit of Novacek. Anyway, it's Uncle Bunge that leads us by about four or five to brace for impact, leading the chasers. The aristocrats there, Napoleon Grey the Great. The blue Hawthorne's got himself locked in and nowhere to go. Wider are those of Black Autumn Sister winning Chief Orlando. Wider still is She's the One. And the wise is for his jamming Jimmy's joint, another great. And back in the inside of that streets of war, Prince Achiever, James Gray, and the poisoned Olga Barisova getting a little bit closer now. They're going to the six and poor jumps there. But it's still Uncle Bunge. Going to try and uh, steal a lead here into the seventh. Everybody gets over that as well. So Uncle Bunge by about eight to Chief Orlando, middle of the course. We'll get over the eighth, but some really poor jumping here. Well, that's got himself really demoted now is James Gray. But it's Uncle Bunge by five to Chief Orlando in second on his own. She's the one widest of all. And the ninth. It's a ditch on a rise. Everybody's got through it. She's the one's getting over towards the fence now as they take this right turn. And the other ones that are wide here are Olga Barisova jamming Jimmy's joint, James Gray. They've got no chance going around that bend and demoting themselves by about five lengths. But up front is Uncle Bunge, leads by about three to Chief Orlando. And they've got about another four on She's the One, Hawthorne. The ground on the outside, Napoleon Gray. The inside of that, the Aristocrat, Brace for Impact, usually small. Purple Silk's a gay brief. And they're just two lengths ahead of the rest, which are just being led by Sister Winning. And Streets of War. They go over the 10th, poor jump by second place to Chief Orlando there, had cut into Uncle Bunge's advantage, or over the 11th, these fences come quite quick now here at Ludlow, everybody's over it, and it's Chief Orlando that's just nosed in front of Uncle Bunge now, as they come to the 12th, a small ditch, everybody's, no, we lost one there, quack's gone, not sure whose silks they are, the yellow silks, oh, into the 13th, and everybody got over that one, so Uncle Bunge takes it back up again, with a mile and a quarter left to run. And still another eight fences they get over the water. There's the finishing post. So Uncle Bungie's lead now is just the length to Chief Orlando. She's the one in Hawthorne. Then we've got the Aristocrat. Napoleon Gray on the outside. Gay Brief. And Brace for Impact uh, inside of that. Then the light blue silks are usually small. The streets of Wars made some good up ground. Sister Winning. A couple going wide again. Mainly the Doug Warren horses of Sister Winning and Prince Achiever. And then they're being followed through by Jamming Jimmy's Joint, Black Autumn, and James Gray. So they head on out now. As you can see, there's the grandstand of where they're heading. And we're losing one here. Black Autumn's being pulled up. Unlucky Alex Cherry. That's the first pull up of the day. That's Chief Orlando and Uncle Bunge leads into the 15th. They both jump it. Hawthorne was pretty slow over it. Well, that's getting himself detached again now is James Gray. And he's actually being pulled up. Dill Hinton's James Gray's out of the race. They will get over the 16th, and Chief Orlando's taken off, taken a three-length advantage now. But Uncle Bunch being ridden along to 
challenge for first place again. They're over the 17th. So Chief Orlando, Uncle Bunch, Hawthorne, Prince Achiever on the far outside. Gay Brief, the Aristocats running well. She's the one. Streets of War, Jam and Jimmy's Joint trying to make up some ground. Oh, we've lost one there. The Aristocrats gone. Bad luck to Mr. Meanahan. So it's Chief Orlando, Uncle Bunge, Grey Brief, Hawthorne. Prince Achiever still there. That's done really well. His streets of war moving up on the inside and the outside is Black Absolute. The other one making up some good ground now is jamming Jimmy's joint, the grey. So up front, Uncle Bunge is now challenged by Hawthorne and Gay Brief. These two are going to take it on. So it's Haw Hawthorne, Gay Brief, Uncle Bunge going backwards a little bit now. Chief Orlando trying to plug on. The outside is Black Absolute, the grey, jamming Jimmy's joint. But it's Hawthorne that noses in front as they take the final turn. So it's Hawthorne. Two and a half furlongs left to run. They take the 19th. They get over it. Chief Gay Brief was really slow. Hawthorne jumped it well and leads now inside the two. Gets over the 20th. We've got two left to jump and Hawthorne's pulling away here. Hawthorne for James Follis leads by about seven. Gay Brief trying to plug on again. He gets into fence a little bit slow. Oh, we lost one there. Jam and Jimmy Joint's gone, but it's Hawthorne. On the outside here comes usually small, but Gay Brief looks the closest to challenge. He gets over the last. He's done it well. We're only half a furlong left to run. It's Hawthorne that's going to lead this. Here comes Gay Brief to hang on for second. Brace for impact looks like he's going to get third. Fourth was usually small. So Hawthorne got away there for a two and a half furlongs left to run. Nice win there for James Follis. Second was Gay Brief for Martin Leadham. Third brace for impact for Graham Clutterbuck. Fourth usually small for Daniel French. Fifth streets of war for Darren House. And uh, that's the Fobra Gold Challenge Chase over and done with.